Knight Rider. Knight Rider is an American television series created and produced by Glenn A. Larson. The series was originally broadcast on NBC from 1982 to 1986. The show stars David Hasselhoff as Michael Knight, a high tech modern crime fighter assisted by Kit, an advanced artificially intelligent, self aware, and nearly indestructible car. This was the last series Larson devised at Universal Television before he moved to 20th Century Fox. Self-made billionaire Wilton Knight rescues police detective Lt. Michael Arthur Long after a near-fatal shot to the face, giving him a new identity and a new name, Michael Knight. Wilton selects Michael to be the primary field agent in the pilot program of his public justice organization, the Foundation for Law and Government. The other half of this pilot program is the Knight Industries 2000 a heavily modified, technologically advanced Pontiac Firebird Trans M with numerous features including an extremely durable shell and frame, controlled by a computer with artificial intelligence. Michael and Kit are brought in during situations where direct action might provide the only feasible solution. Heading flag is Devin Miles, who provides Michael with directives and guidance. Dr. Bonnie Barstow is the chief engineer in charge of Kit's care, as well as technical assistant to Devin. The car used as kit in the series was a customized 1982 Pontiac Firebird sports model, that cost $100,000 U.S. dollars to build. Nose, dash and other interior of the car were designed by the design consultant Michael Sheff. The Knight Rider theme was composed by Stu Phillips and Glenn A. Larson. The series DVD bonus material contains an interview about this lead music, where Glenn A. Larson says he remembers a theme out of a classical piece from which he took pieces for the Knight Rider theme. The rest of the series' music was composed by Stu Phillips for 13 episodes, Don Peak for 75 episodes, Glenn A. Larson co-wrote music only for the KITT vs. KARR episode and Morton Stevens who wrote music for the Deadly Maneuvers episode in the first season. Peak took over scoring duties at S1E14 in 1983, when Larson moved to 20th Century Fox and Phillips was working there on his projects. Peak insisted as the only and main composer until the end of the series in 1986 exceptionally for the KITT vs. KARR episode in third season, which he composed together with Stu Phillips and Glenn A. Larson. In 2005 FSM released a disc of music from the series, featuring the series theme, Ad Bumpers and Phillips scores for Night of the Phoenix, Not a Drop to Drink, Trust Doesn't Rust, Forget Me Not in the composer's final episode Inside Out as well as the logo music for Glenn Larson Productions. Albums of Don Peake's scores have also been issued. The intro throughout most of the episodes began with this narration. During the first season, the outro was Michael and Kit driving though a road in the desert with Wilton Knight's words of one man can make a difference, Michael. Then the narration goes on to say the outro of seasons 2 and 3 was Michael and Kit driving away from the sunset toward the camera. Season 4's outro was the same, except with Kit in super pursuit mode. Knight Rider was first syndicated in the U.S. in the fall of 1986. Stations were initially offered either the original hour-long format, or severely condensed into half-hour format. Reruns were later syndicated on USA Network in 1994, Sci-Fi Channel in 2003, Sleuth in 2005, and on G4 in 2012. Universal Studios Home Entertainment has released all four seasons of Knight Rider on DVD in Regions 1, 2 and 4. A complete series box set featuring all 90 episodes in a collector's edition box has been released in Regions 1 and 2. On March 8, 2016, it was announced that Mill Creek Entertainment had acquired the rights to the series in Region 1. They subsequently re-released the first two seasons on DVD on May 3, 2016. On October 4, 2016, Mill Creek re-released Night Ride of the complete series on DVD in Region 1. In Japan, NK Universal Entertainment Japan a subsidiary of NPK Universal, released a Blu-ray box set containing all four seasons, replicas, props, and memorabilia under the title box. The set is limited to region code A, which includes the U.S. It was released on November 27, 2014. In North America, Mill Creek Entertainment released the complete series on Blu-ray in Region 1 on October 4, 2016. The series had been available for streaming on Netflix. The first season was available on Hulu. Some episodes are available on NBC's website. These adventures were continued with the television films Knight Rider 2000 and Knight Rider 2010 and the short-lived Team Knight Rider. One other television movie, Knight Rider, served as a pilot for the 2008 television series Knight Rider. In 1985, 
a spin-off series, Code of Vengeance, also premiered. In 1988 Angelo Di Marco made a French comic strip based on the series, titled K2000. It was published by Dargo. In 1984, Hooray for Hollywood, a two-part episode of Different Strokes, David Hasselhoff and Kidd appeared when rescuing Arnold Jackson and Dudley Ramsey from a near-onset incident while visiting Universal Studios Hollywood. On July 8, 2008, GPS manufacturer Mio Technology announced the release of a Knight Rider-themed GPS unit for a price of $270. The unit has the original Knight Rider logo printed above the display and features the voice of William Daniels. In 2012 and 2013, General Electric ran an advertising campaign, Brilliant Machines, about the coming generation of General Electric robotic devices. The campaign was built around famous robots from the movies and television, and KITT was prominently featured. One ad, narrated by William Daniels, showed KITT in auto cruise mode racing a GE diesel electric railroad engine hauling a freight train. In 2015, both David Hasselhoff and Kit appear in a Comic Con segment in the unrated version of Ted 2. Hasselhoff and Kit later paired together again for an AT&T slash Direct TV advertisement, which also featured other film slash television personalities such as Big Bird and the Oklahoma Sooners football team, interspersed with the daily workings of the major city as someone walks around using the Services TV Everywhere initiative. The Night Rider theme was sampled in the songs Clock Strikes, Fire It Up, and Moon Dion to Bakay and was also featured as Ted's ringtone and John's phone in the 2012 comedy film Ted. An annual was published each year in the UK by Grand Dreams. These books consisted of a mix of text stories and cartoon strips, as well as photos and articles in the show's stars and kit. There were five annuals produced in total, each reflecting the season of the show that was airing at the time, with the final two releases covering the final season. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.